The glue is still wet here, but I love the way this page turned out as, I, as I'm loving all of them, but did anybody notice anything in particular? So evidently, as I've just discovered, I have the word magical in the in, uh, positive affirmation deck of cards twice because not only did I already pull the card and sticker on a prior page here, did you catch that card and sticker? I pulled the card again because I evidently, I thought initially I put it back in the bowl, but then I had a spare sticker. I had another sticker with the same word on it. I only printed one set of the words on stickers. So it's in there. Tw evidently, I really needed to see that word and I needed it in the deck. I don't know why. So anyway, it's in there twice. That was interesting. I do um, like this snowflake here, but I've got to fix my L. There we go. And if you watched the page, I, as soon as I pulled the word, and as I was realizing I'd already done the word, and so it must be in there twice, before I even found the quote or did anything to the page, I knew what needed to be said over here. So that's a little different. Good, just different. Anyway, I'm loving this, and I'm really loving this paper, which is out of the other deck of scrapbooking paper I had, or pad, which is from Simple Stories. It's a six by eight paper pad and it's called Winter Farmhouse. I'm loving this particular paper. It's got the snowflakes with sort of the cool wintry tones on one side and then the sort of um, beigey whitewashed woodwork on the other side. Uh, we're working with cool tones this uh, month over in my creative year. So I'm really, this is really appealing to me. When I'm trying to do this journal in mostly cool tones and work, I've stuck in the occasional page that is not cool tones at all. There's one in here. There's two, a couple in here, but yeah. Um, but I'm trying to stick with mostly cool tones, but I'm also trying to listen to my instincts. So anyway, that being said, I love it. So I hope you guys had a fun time with that. If you want to see me doing a page um, with me talking through 
my thought process for everything that I do on these pages, which is basically the same pro thought process for all the pages. Um, you have to be a member of Patreon, which is a very low cost thing, and the link for it is down in the video description. There is a talking video for page six, I think, this one, um, over there in Patreon. You can see me doing page six here on YouTube. However, it is a speed through video without the talking. Um, so if you want the talking video, you have to be over on Patreon. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoy the process. If you're inspired to do anything um, from this video series um, in a similar fashion, I sure would love to see what you're doing. Please private message me or tag me in a post or something like that so I can see it and hopefully comment on it. Um, don't, for leave it don't forget to leave any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments down below or again, tag me in a post in one of the Facebook groups or something, and I'll, I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, that being said, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to support the free content however you can here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, not just for me, but for all your favorite content creators. We're all struggling this year especially, and I know many of them that are barely making ends meet and they need the support. So whether it's shopping in our Etsy shops or um, joining our Patreons or PayPal tip jars, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Mike Deacon, I know, has his angels um, that support his free content. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, if you can support, that would be most welcome this holiday season, especially this year, um, but always. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I said that already. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.